Orthopedics the hip. Most problems of the hip are related to fractures of the neck of femur, secondary OA and hip replacement. Here's a patient set up for an arthrodesis of the hip. You know, it's being performed. They weren't a candidate for a hip replacement, but do an arthrodesis or fusing using a K-nail. Arthroscopy of the hip is difficult to do, not commonly done. Here's a synobitis. It's the view at uh, hip, uh, arthroscopy of the hip. ABN is common of the, of the hip. Segmental, young patients, total destruction with ABN. They require hip replacement a lot of the time, even though they're young. MRI is useful. ABN again. May collapse. Hot bone scans, MRI images a bit well and it may need a hip replacement. One case there, a 41 year old secondary pemphigus, skin condition, steroids. Steroids can cause ABN. Here's a Sukiyoka osteoarthropy, difficult op operation for, for, for ABN of the hip. And here's a specimen showing segmental ABN of femoral head. Here's a fracture around the implant. Uh, you need bone from the bone bank. Bone banks are based on femoral heads. But now they, could, they harvest everything from the body. They fill it, the body. But it's best to enter, cultivate, grow bone inside the body. CDH often requires bone graft. CDH is congenital dislocation of the hip. The hip's deformed. It's got a false uh, articulation, not in the true acetabulum. Deformed secondary OA, you have to do a hip replacement. Very hard to do it. Problems getting the interplays, problems with the sciatic nerve and stretching, bone grafting. Previous surgery, still got secondary OA, bilateral, bilateral, very difficult surgery. Here it's very well done, total hip replaced back in the true acetabulum. Achondroplasia, they have loose, unstable hips. Coxum barrier, Perth Hays disease, deformed head, abnormal loading, secondary OA, total hip replacement in their 30s. Bilateral hip dislocation, trauma trying to do a closed reduction and a sporting injury, try to get it in, avoid ABN. Typical posture internally rotated with a posterior hip dislocation. Internally rotated. A dislocated hip implant. Have to get it back in, may need to revise the implant. Dysplastic hips, it's like CBH. Uh, steep acetabulum, uncovering abnormal loads early OA. Salter osteotomy done in childhood, try to correct that. A fracture around an implant, fracture around an implant, you have to revise a fracture around an implant, put a long stem in, difficult, dislocated femoral head, 47 year old, car accident, It'd be a fracture of the acetabulum there, fracture neck of femur, short, the external, rota external rotation, injections for fertility around a surgery, around the hips, intertrochanteric fracture require internal fixation. Fracture of the acetabulum and the pelvis, car accident, internally fixed. Big surgery, prone to heterotopic bone. Ostomol, old implant used, don't use these any longer. For a vulture fracture, anterior inferior iliac spine. Don't need to do anything particular, particular there. Central dislocation of the hip. Failed fixation of fracture into trochanteric or subtrochanteric bone grafting. Needs to be redone. Heterotopic bone after surgery, fracture lower end of the femur, fracture of the femoral head, difficult to do, internally fixed. Total hip replacement and the takedown after this. Hips being fused, then they don't like that because it causes a lot of stiffness, back pain, then you have to put a hip replacement. Very hard to do. Subtrochanteric fracture, internal fixation. Girdle stint means take out everything, try to do a hip replacement later. Difficult surgery can be done, usually because of infection that the implant had to be taken out. Here's a huck step nail, very useful for difficult surgery. Infection, septic hip, Crohn's disease. See, young, 20 year old patient, septic hip, Crohn's disease. Uh, have to deal with the infection, but then you're left with the destroyed femoral head. Very difficult case to deal with. Too young to have a hip replacement. Label detachment in the hip, sporting injury. There's a preparation to excise a leg, neurofibromatosis. Uh, complicated by MRSA. Always secondly, slipped up a femoral epiphysis from childhood, slipped up a femoral epiphysis, epiphysis deformed head, secondly, oh, I need hip replacement. There's a deformed head from infection as a child. So now it's deformed head, secondary OA needs hip replacement. Paget's disease, deformity caused the abnormal load, secondary OA.
difficult operation to do. Deform femoral head due to old perthase. Here's a uh, OA of the hip previous trauma. Previous trauma said the abnormal shaft secondary OA needs a hip replacement. Deformed femoral head. Deformed femoral head dysplastic hip. Ankylosis here, a young patient, ankylosis spondylitis. They fused their own hip. Concentric OA and Sjogren syndrome. Deformed femoral head secondary OA of Perthes disease. Slipped up a femoral epiphysis. Pistol grip, deformed head. Abnormal low, uh, deformity, abnormal low secondary OA, hip replacement for it. Chiari osteotopy used to be used for dysplastic hips, but here it often still develops secondary OA, difficult operation to perform. Paget's disease, common in Australia, New Zealand, the UK. Deformity, secondary OA, hip replacement for it. A brace sometimes used for dislocated hips, slipped up a femoral epiphysis. Look, the femoral head's slipping off the top of the of the neck in a child's head, the physis slipping through the physis. Overweight children, you have to put a pin in situ for it. Limb is markedly externally rotated, pin in situ for it, it's just slipping off the top. Leg markedly externally rotates. TB of the hip destroys the hip. Uh, make sure that the disease is gone, quiescence all cleared up, then you can go to a hip replacement but technically quite a difficult operation to do because of the amount of deformity. By uh, adductor tendonitis, sporting uh, treat non-operatively. Total hip replacement, CDH. Conversion of a girdle stint. There's a girdle stint here and here. Here it's been converted to a hip replacement. Total hip replacement, dislocated. Real problem to deal with. Here's a total hip replacement of a 40-year-old woman who had uh, AVN of the head from steroids now had a hip replacement. Radiant necrosis, femoral head, 64 year old, head destroyed now requires a hip replacement. Here's a gripper cup, isolastic stem. Here's a non cemented hip replacement, Paget's disease. Here's a Petruzio case. Here's a long standing case for loosening, fracture of the implant. Uh, look at all the cement, this would be a very difficult case to do. Look at all the cement going into the pelvis. Revision situation will be very difficult to deal with. Loose and Charlie hip was good in the 60s and 70s, but now have been superseded. Loose gripper cup, isoelastic stem. Total hip replacement, left side is loose. Left side loose, look at all the radio loosencies here. CDH, 38 year old patient going for a hip replacement. Pre-revision situation, loose implant going for a hip replacement. Here's preparing the acetabulum. Here's a huck step nail in situ. Difficult, good for difficult cases. Gripper cup and Charlie stem. Nice elastic stem with bone grafting. Post revision, S1 system, very commonly used in the 80s. Very useful system. S1 system. This is a revision use Harris Galant stem cup, very good system. Isoelastic loosened up, not such a good system, being superseded now. Here's a hip replacement that's been retrieved. Look at the cement mantle. See, it's loose between the cement and the bone. See, here's, here's a revision situation, non cemented revision situation. There's the cement mantle. Here's using a huck step nail. Revision with the SROM. And it's called this loosening is called aseptic loosening. And here's preparing the acid, uh, the canal. The, maybe a lot of bone loss and to deal with that. May need bone grafting to deal with it. SROM system that was successfully used. Uh, eyebrow graft. There's an acetate. Once you take the old cup out, there's a big hole there. You have to put bone grafting in and reconstruct it. That's the end of part one. I hope you uh, enjoyed. Look out for part two.